Go for a woohoo. In Dawn's- <gasps> The scandal! Hey YouTube, how's it going? Oh, Dawn, way to start the video all PG. No, opposite of PG. R-rated. <laughs> Sorry. Um, hey YouTube, how's it going? My name is Lucas, and welcome back to the Supernatural Legacy. Now, if you haven't seen the last part, um, Dawn proposed to David. And if this is your very first part of this series, you're probably thinking, oh, how sweet is that? How wholesome little engagement. No, there is nothing wholesome about this. There is nothing romantic about this. This is all about Dawn and her her control freakness, if that's a word, not wanting to lose power over David and therefore forcing him into a marriage so he can reaffirm his confused sexuality and it is a whole... Why is my audio so loud? Sorry. Oh, have you bro what have you done, Dawn? Have you... Oh, have you broken it? Oh, don't tell me she's broken it. You idiot! Okay, call the repair technician. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Bowen Hilda, can you fix this mess, please? Oh, she's on it. Given her a good review on Yelp. Do maids have Yelp? I don't know. Right, so today, um, we are going to hopefully make Dawn some friends. Because as I was saying, we proposed, realised we need to have a bachelorette party. Dawn has no friends. No one likes Dawn. She's mean to everyone. So, Jasper's whipped up a jar of friendship today. Um, in fact, Jasper, can you just make some more just in case? What is this? He's chasing a raccoon. No way. Wait. You You're so feral. Right. What's that noise? I think that's my just an echo in my room. Um, mix an elixir. Yeah, make some backups for us. So our first candidate was this woman called Alice Fitzgerald. She's human, but that's fine because Dawn needs human friends to feed off of. Um, she was a previous rival, but their like enemy meter has deg deg. Oh my god, what's the word? Degre degre date. Degraded, I say degraded over time because they haven't really like spoke. So I think they're willing to bear there, there, blah, blah, blah. Words, bury the hatchet. So why don't we invite her over? Out. Let's invite her out. Again, we could throw the friendship potion on her to make sure all goes smoothly. Let's go to the vampire lounge. The red velvet. Yeah, so she's candidate one for good friend. I was thinking in the last part, maybe there was a woman called Dana, Dania. I can't remember, but I decided against it. I thought, oh, you idiot. No, I'm not interested. Why? Okay, let's track her down then. Let's find where her house is. Um, yeah, we were, we, we were like chasing after... What is potent friendship? Is that... What's the difference between potent and just jar? I guess it's just how much. Oh, we don't have the ingredients. Never mind. Of course, as per usual, nothing is going to plan. Alice just want to come out with us. Okay, let's find out where she lives. Fitzgerald. Oh, who are you? Root. They've got a new roommate. Um, Moldano. That's Marigold. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. We tried to befriend someone in the last part, but I thought, well, she's a bit too common for Dawn and a bit too old. There's the Goths. Um. Ooh. So we have Violet Slimer, who we were like trying to, but I don't know if I really want to because. Damn, is she just stubborn? Unans. Neighbor oh, I forgot. Neighborhood pet adoption. Becky is out at the moment. We could do that day. We get a pet. Um, where? There we go. Roommates wannabe. Sure, let's head over. Um, splash some magical potions on Alice. She's a bit more of like Dawn's type. She is like mean. She's a loner. She's like, seems a bit posh and snobby. So perfect for Dawn. Dana, as I realised while we were doing the episode, she's literally a repair woman. It's probably her now, actually. It is! <laughs> See, she's our repair woman. We don't want to be friends with the help. Blah. Sorry, I'm not classist. Dawn is classist. Um, there's her truck. David and Jasper, leaving them home alone. Brave choice. Especially seeing as Jasper's half naked. Um, I trust them to sort out their needs, not really, but whatever. Not our problem today. Jasper has a day off. I'm thinking maybe if we have time, we'll go see Marigold. Maybe. We haven't seen her in a while. I don't know how he's going to be feeling about her after trying to get close with David. Um, so, oh, they see they've got a nice house. Again, Dawn would like these people. So, hopefully she's in and becomes our best friend. Ding dong. Yeah, Violet. I don't want to, like, throw away what we've been trying with Violet, otherwise we've just wasted time. But she's a ghost, so making her part of our coven is going to be a nightmare. 
She won't tell us our traits. I don't know if it's bugged. Ghost sims don't seem to be showing up on my friends list either. So again, probably just ghost sims are super buggy. Don't know. Don't like it. But Alice, she's human, so we can drink from her, then convert her later at some point. And it's gonna leave out Dawn in the freezing cold or what? They legit are. She's just freezing. <laughs> she just stood there in the same position, just frozen. Hello? There's nobody home right now. They, they knew Dawn was coming, they just immediately went, nope. Where, where could she be? Must try this again. Invite out Alice Fitzgerald. I know you don't like us. Look, she wants to be mean to Alice. No. Dawn, I know you're not great at making friends, but we have to make you friends right now, okay? I can't imagine wanting to go anywhere with you right now. See, she hates us. That's the thing. We can't, like, invite her out. She'll just say no because she hates us. We have to spring it on her. But she could legit be anywhere. Let's have a browse of the square. Um, Legit, she could be anywhere. She could be anyone. She could be you. No, you're Ivy. She could be... Um, it doesn't say where she's where she would be, does it? It just says she's out. Alice is out of the art gallery. Yes! Thank you, Sims Game. You know what I want. To stalk this woman. Thank you for being an ally. Um, you the art gallery? No, you're the toadstool. The art gallery is... Mm, here. We're legit stalking this woman. I'm sorry, she will be friends with us. Dawn's not going to have a lonely bachelorette party. Even then, that's just one friend. Well, her and Violet. Oh, that was that was fast. Her, Violet, Marigold, I guess. It could just be them. It could just be them, like a little close thing. We do have Daydream Ivy, who is our neighbour. And they do seem to be pretty rich. <gasps> there she is. No, that's not her. That's other generic white woman. Although... Harley Sumari, she looks a little bit like, ooh, like a bit, you know, like she'd give you some, like she wouldn't take anything. Right, where's Alice Fitzgerald? Jesus, she's <laughs> in the middle of work, but now it's not the best time, is it? She's working, but a thief, perfect. Violet is a thief, we've got like a pattern with our friends here, all thieves. David's a thief though, that's bad, because it means like, once we part ways with David, they could side with him. Loyalty, you know? Yeah, bye. Hey, remember us? How's that? How, how's them apples? There we go. And now... Dawn von Hex used a friendship elixir to become friends. There we go with Alice Fitzgerald. She likes us now, right? I think she likes us. Can we try and drink? Drink. There we go. We'll try and drink. That's like the true friendship barrier. Will you give us some of your plasma? She's got quite a nose on her, and a quite she's got big eyes as well. Oh no, she's getting away from us. She's like, oh, and there's Ivy Woman. We should. She seems a bit bougie. She's like the Nancy Langrab of the Moonlight Falls. Is she getting away? I mean, to be fair, she probably was stick nicking a painting. Oh, she took a bathroom break from Robin. Yeah, befriend us, please. Jasper von Hex already so attractive. Let's stop enabling him. Alice thinks Dawn is being very creepy. <laughs> She did stalk you to the art gallery. I don't blame you. And now we're down to acquaintances. That's not good. Can we hit her with some pillows? That always works. Snowball fight. That's bound to work. Look at Dawn making friends. We did another friendship potion though. Although the cow print... The cow print... What's it called again? Corset? Mm -mm. Not feeling it. Right, where'd she go? Love me. Why can't Dawn make friends? I mean, she's a terrible person, but like, she's a rich, terrible person. People love money. Please love me. <laughs> Legit, Dawn is so desperate. No! No, she's shouting at us. Why? I'm trying to make friends. Please make a snowman with us. Make a snowman with us. Oh my god, Jasper. If this doesn't work. Jasper's getting more ingredients, making another potion, because Dawn can't make friends the, easy, the natural way, the real way. The hard way. Okay, they're making a snowman. That's cute. It's just, oh my god, is she okay? Like, yeah, I'm a bit concerned now. Maybe she wasn't the right choice for a friend. She's screaming. She is screaming. That's a red flag. Although, to be fair, Dawn killed Alice. No, not Alice. Um, Janet Pock. That's a red flag. Murder. 
right, hi. See, we're friends now. Look, we've buried the hatchet. We, we don't we don't hate each other anymore. We're not like snobby enemies. Okay, she's she really loves the art. Okay, yeah, we get it. You love art. Oh, I see. Is she going to be the friend that watches on the sideline and takes credit at the end? Or are you going to... Okay, you're actually going to partake. Okay. I wonder what Dawn is saying. So, want to catch a film? Want to catch a flick? Or go to the library? What's Dawn going to say in response? Or, or make out? I mean, maybe Dawn's ready for some same-sex action as well? Or play computer games? Whoa, how meta is this? Uh, make a silly face. I don't know, Dawn. Try and crack a joke. Tell a funny story. So, one time, right, I stole this woman's husband, locked her outside, and she froze to death in a day. That's top tier story tech. Oh, Dawn. See, Dawn's like a sweet little psychopath, you know? <gasps> like, she just, she just wants to be loved on the inside and be rich and famous. Well, maybe not famous, but you know, feared. Why don't we get to know more of her traits? Maybe she'll tell us, unless she does a Violet Slimer and doesn't tell us. Announce engagement. Ask Korea. I mean, I'm guessing thief, but we, we never know. Maybe she's like a cosplayer. She thinks Dawn's being amusing. Oh. Enthused about the wedding, because who doesn't love a newly married couple talking about the wedding constantly? Gotta book a venue, get a caterer. Oh, gotta find a book. Guest list. Okay, Alice is actually really beautiful, though. She's a beautiful sim. Dawn's feeling a bit threatened. Like, she has to be the beautiful... She has to be, like, the beautiful, bougie, richest one. Oh, we're burning outside. <gasps> oh, I forgot. We're, we're literally... Oh, my God, we're literally vampire. We're gonna die. It won't kill us, right? I, heard, I think it just takes away the thirst, and then we die of thirst. Well, we'll test it. We'll have a look. Maybe we'll have to get inside. She needs to pee. So why don't you actually go go pee? Um, maybe make make friends with Anna Love as well because we need to get the numbers up for the bachelorette party and the wedding. She's a criminal. Expected. No any more traits? Not yet. Come on. Come on. Hit me with some traits. Nope. Get maybe it's just a Sims Three thing. Although I swear it's not even this hard in Sims 3, but they just don't want to tell us their traits. They just don't want to say. Right, okay. In the meantime, Jasper, what are you doing? Taking a bath. Good. In Dawn's oh, bath. You know what? David, why don't you... I don't want to enable this, but they're home alone. Make Jasper think about me. Oh, in fact, go walk in on him. I say in inverted commas. Oh, oh, things getting a bit... Dawn should not have left them alone. What is she thinking? What are you thinking, Dawn? Right. Amorous hug. He's he's not in a great state right now. Maybe I should change his, his, his state. Oh, Jasper acting coy. Or pretending to. Bonehilda's going to be watching this. Be careful. Right. Bonehilda, snitches get stitches, okay? So you keep that skeleton mouth shut. What are you doing, Jasper? You're supposed to be making... Oh, Jesus. Oh, now now David's running away because of Bone Hilda again. I'm, tr oh. I'm trying to have these guys have a cute moment that they couldn't have on Christmas, okay? Flirt. Have a hug. And then Jasper, he's a flirty one. Maybe he can lay, <gasps> lay the kiss. Maybe today we can have the kiss. He's like, oh, I'd know about this. I don't know about this wedding. I'm getting cold feet. And the next thing you know, bam, he slept with her fiancé's brother. Oh, he's, he's like, oh, maybe not. He's maybe, oh, he's a bit unsure. Yeah, Jasper's getting some cold feet now. <sighs> Jasper, 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 come on. Confess your attraction, Jasper. Be like, look, I like you, I think. I don't know, I'm confused. It's confusing. And then, do a flirtatious joke because you're Jasper and you're super flirty. Then, embrace him. See, they're so getting into it. And then, compliment his appearance, because you think you're looking sexy today. Sorry, I'm invested. Dawn, David, don't care. There's no there's no real love between them. These two, there's some forbidden love, Romeo, Juliet thing going on. I kind of like it. kind of shipping it. Don't worry, we'll find Dawn like someone to actually love in the future, but not now. Go on, embrace. 
These things are being very alluring. Come on, go for the first kiss. And then the woohoo. Right, I'm just keeping an eye on Dawn. What's she doing? She's in the art gallery, okay. Whew. They just had their... F oh. They did it. They broke... Okay, should we just go straight for the woohoo? Should they do it? Should they just... Ask to break up with Dawn. Oh, no. Ask to forsake vampire. No, that's very not Jasper. He would not do that. Go for a woohoo. In Dawn's... Oh, the scandal. See, this is just putting them further up sh creek. Sorry, I'm going to have to blur... You know... Sense that out, because trying to keep things vaguely family friendly here. Um, but like, David is engaged. One thing being boyfriend and girlfriend cheating, being engaged and cheating, oh, whole different. I mean, neither of them are okay. Yeah, I'm not trying to say, oh, it's okay to cheat your boyfriend and girlfriend, but not if you're engaged. But you know, like, it's, it's a bit more stakes when you're engaged. So, like, this is even worse, you know? One thing being drunk on Christmas, it's another thing now sleeping with your sister's. Fiance, who, you know, you despise that sister and there's a lot of beef between them. Right, she is still at the art gallery enjoying her day out. In fact, it's getting a bit late. Why don't you... Oh, hold on, I'm going to miss the action. And David needs to pee as well. Oh, no. But it's finally happened. This is a, this is a barrier being broken. Thing is, though, I'm a bit worried about, like, the AI of The Sims 3 because, like... Like, David... No. Jasper might get mad at David for, like, if he ever kisses, and like, Dawn in front of him, but, like, he knows they're married, if that makes sense. Like, he knows he's cheating, but, like, the Sim AI doesn't quite know that. So, either way, um, you, you both need to pee. Holy crap. Don't pee. Okay, they're both, they're, they're both, like, heading to the toilet. I thought he was going to pee on the spot then. I'm like, that is so not romantic if you both immediately pee yourselves afterwards. Um, oh, they're thirsty. Yeah, I've been neglecting your needs. I know. Dawn, why don't you come home? Why don't you, can you bring Alice with you? In fact, why don't we invite both her... Why don't we have an actual proper good sleepover with Anna Love and Alice? Two A's. Because that one with Violet didn't go so well. I still don't know many of her traits, but, like, whatever. At least we know a vague amount. We could probably, like, read her mind to get to know more as well. In fact, I mean, I've got to wrap the episode up soon, but we have a bit more time. Right, you guys, yeah, you get far away from each other as possible. David, why don't you go work out? Actually, no, you're thirsty. Go drink. And then maybe work out. Or work on your logic skill. Do something like you need to do for your career. I don't know. Um, but yeah, have a quick meal of some plasma orange juice. I'm going to quickly save. Because, oh, whoops, drop something. <laughs> if you heard that rattle. Yeah, Bone Hilda as well. Quiet. Don't Don't be ruining this love triangle, okay? Imagine Bone Hilda just all the secrets within her. She can't ever tell. She can't ever speak. <gasps> Imagine if we like. We gotta have Bone Hilda at the Bachelorette. Ooh. Like, she's part of the family. She's OG. Um. Well, I'm thinking, so we've gotta get David out of the house for his. But unless. Depends on where we have the Bachelorette party. I guess we could always go to the Red Velvet and have it. And we'll, ha we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Right, Dawn, you're home. You're tired, but invite over, um, what's her face? Alice, Alice, Alice. Well, Alice, it appears you're coming over. Watch her say no. Oh, actually, no, we've got to adopt that. we got to, oh. David keeps getting freaked out by Bone Hilda, and it's really annoying me, because he keeps cancelling the interactions I'm giving him. Oh, Alice is at work. Of course she is. Can we adopt the dog? No. Patty's out at the moment. Oh, is anyone ever going to... So is that the dog that we're going to adopt, basically, that one there? Because it was a while ago. It was... It was when... When we had our Janet death party. One of the unions called us up and said, Hey, I have a dog. Do you want to take it? But I couldn't remember where the unions lived, so I couldn't get it. Oh, they have negative interactions. Why? Or are you faking it? you faking it in front, of, in front of, you know, Dawn. I don't know. Have some plasma orange juice. David, what are you doing? Yeah, Bone Hilda is leaking. I don't know why, but it's grossing me out. You, um, oh, oh, chat with, chat with Marigold, because that's still a thing. Um, yeah, so I guess if she won't come over, Anna Love could come over. I mean, we're quite close with Anna Love, to be honest. But we don't know any of her traits. Oh, God, this, get, oh. why can't you be one of the Sims 4? Sims 4, bam, instantly tells you the traits straight away. No work required, and bam, you know them like you've known them for like 50 million years. Okay, now Anna Love doesn't want to come over. Do we have any real friends? <sighs> Unbelievable. 
And we, we still can't go adopt that dog either. There's nothing we can do. I might end the episode. Becky's out at the moment. First Becky, then Patty. Can, is anyone going to be ever... Ugh. They're all out. They're all out. Great. Right, I might end the episode today. No, is, there, is there really a point getting a dog at the end of the episode? Although I guess that's me throwing shade at 100 Baby because I did a 100 Baby, but right. Either way, if you've enjoyed two days episode of the Supernatural Legacy, next episode, probably the Bachelorette Party. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, we'll just see. <laughs> might have to get some more friendship potions. You never know. Oh, phone! Oh, who's this? Chauncey Grimm? I mean, I'll go just to have a look at who he is. Maybe Dawn can have a thing on the side. Because she's got to prep for her next marriage. Chauncey Grimm. He sounds like really old and decrepit and scary. Chauncey... I don't know. He sounds familiar, but I just don't know him. Oh, no, he's old. Oh, is he a rich old, though? Where's your house? Chauncey Grimm. Chauncey Grimm. Oh, he's got an old lady wife. I mean, it's not the biggest house. Why don't we cancel? No, we're not going on your date, Chauncey Grimm. I'm going to end the episode right. If you've enjoyed today's episode of the... Sorry, why am I saying this so weirdly? I'm not a robot, am I? If you enjoyed this episode of the Supernatural Legacy, let's get this outro right this time. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Twitter link down below. Feel free to follow it. The phone's going off. Feel free to follow it. Or not. Can I finish the outro? We'll see. Oh! Jesus, stop it, phone. Right, okay, you know what? This is the universe telling me don't end it now. I just had a brainwave. Why don't we have our future told? We did it at the start of the series, and they said stay away from penguins. Because we did... I think, like, there was an option to go all the way with the fortune telling. We had to just keep giving her money, and we were a bit more poor at the time, so I was a bit more hesitant. But we now have more cash, so I'm kind of curious to see what she would say if we went all the way. Especially with all our current sims, like... Because, you know, Dawn's got a lot going on, David's got a lot going on, Jasper's got a lot going on. What what has the future got in store? Let's find out. Right. I'm going to answer my phone in the meantime. Hello. Fortune teller lady. Yeah, she said stay away from penguins. This was like episode one. And it was like, stay away from the penguin. The penguin's going to kill. And I was like, what is, what is this? Oh, the music is back. Should I just skip? Should I just fast forward? Oh, wait, her, her needs. Yeah, she's just going to keep, like, taking money off us. I'm not going to bother reading anything, because we did it before. I'm just going to keep going. Just feeding her cash. All of <laughs> all of Jasper and David's money, because Dawn doesn't work. She doesn't work. Oh, oh, she finished, she finished. What was the fortune? What was the fortune? Fortune is written in the stars. For it, oh sorry, for <laughs> I can't read. For it is written in the stars. Interesting, vague. What is her and David? Maybe not. Maybe her and Jas? No, not sorry, not her. Ew, ew. Jasper and David. Maybe someone else. I don't know, but we'll keep our options open. Either way, I'll I'll properly end it this time. If you've enjoyed today's episode of the Supernatural Legacy. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Twitter link down below. Feel free to follow it or not. It is up to you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.